Welcome to the third video on the chapter Numbers, Factors and Multiples. In the first lesson, you have learned about the different types of numbers. And in the second lesson, you have learned about factors and how to find the HCF of two or three numbers. And in this video, you're going to learn about multiples, LCM, and also word problems involving HCF and LCM. So let us start. What are multiples? Consider the sets of four objects. If I have one set of four objects, this means that I have one times four, that is four objects. Now, if I have two sets of four objects, this means that I have two times 4, that is 8 objects. Similarly, if I have 3 sets of 4 objects, this means that I have 3 times 4, that is 12 objects in all. Now, 4, 8 and 12 are called the multiples of 4. To find the multiples of 4, we multiply 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. What you can notice is that the multiples of a number are infinite. This means that we never stop. Let us consider the first example. Write down all the multiples of 4 less than 22. So I have to find all the multiples of 4 which are less than 22. So, 1 times 4, 4, 2 times 4, 8, and so on, until I get the last multiple of 4 less than 22. So, the multiples are 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. We now move on to a second example. Write down the first 6 multiples of 8. So to find the first 6 multiples of 8, I multiply 1 by 8, 8, 2 by 8, 16, 3 times 8, 24, and so on, until I get 6 times 8, which is 48. So the first 6 multiples of 8 are therefore 8, 16, 24, 32, 40 and 48. Now we move on to LCM. What does LCM mean? LCM means the least common multiple. That is, if I have to find the least common multiple of two or more numbers, this will be the smallest multiple of all the common multiples. Let us find how to find the LCM of a set of two numbers. The first method will be listing multiples. If I have to find the LCM of 5 and 8 by listing the multiples, we proceed as follows. So the multiples of 5, just like we did earlier for multiples of 4, will be 1 times 5, 5, 2 times 5, 10, 3 times 5, 15, and so on. Similarly, the multiples of 8 will be 1 times 8, 8, 2 times 8, 16, and so on. So now I have to find the common multiple between 5 and 8. So the LCM, the least common multiple, that is the number 40, is common in both sets of multiples. And the LCM will be 40. Now we use a second method, that is the method of prime factorization. Remember, in the previous lesson, we learned how to find the prime factors. So we are going to use the same method to find the LCM of 24 and 30. So 24, if you still remember, can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Now for 30, I'm going to divide just like we did in the previous lesson. I divide by 2, I get 15. 
I divide by 3, I get 5. And I divide by 5 to get 1. So 30 is in fact 2 times 3 times 5. Now I have to find the LCM of 24 and 30. So here I'm going to make use of a different color marker. So I take the common multiples, but I'm going to take it only once. 2 times here. Even if it's not common, I'm going to take it times 2. Similarly, times 2. times 3 and times 5. So this is going to give me 120. The LCM of 24 and 30 is 120. If you look carefully at this example, even though 2 is not common here, or 5 is not common, I still take them, as compared to HCF, where we were taking only those which were common. Here, even if it's not common, we do take the 2, both 2s and the 5. Now, if you have to find the LCM of three numbers, 4, 6 and 12. So we are going to proceed in a similar way. I have to find the LCM of 4. 6 and 12. So 4 is 2 times 2. 6 is 2 times 3. And 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. So the LCM is going to be 2 times 2 times 3. In other words, the LCM of 4, 6 and 12 is 12. So now that we have seen how to find the LCM of 2 or 3 numbers, we are going to move to the word problems involving HCF and LCM. So first we are going to consider the applications of HCF. The first example, find the greatest number which divides 304 to leave a remainder of 4 and which also divides 298 to leave a remainder of 4. So we need to find the greatest number which will leave a remainder of 4 when divided by 304 and 298. So this is going to be as follows. Because I have a remainder of 4, so I take 304 minus 4, which gives me 300, and 298 as well, we have a remainder of 4, so I subtract 4 again, and I get 294. So now I have to find the prime factors of 300 and 294. Just like we have done here, I have to find the prime factors and I find the HCF of 300 and 294. So the HCF is 6. This means that the greatest number which will divide both 304 and 298 so as to leave a remainder of 4 in each case is 6. You can even check your answer. For example, 304 divided by 6 gives me 50 and a remainder of 4. 298 divided by 6 gives me 49 and a remainder of 4. Now we proceed to the second example. Mira has two pieces of ribbon of length 18 centimeters and 24 centimeters respectively. She wants to cut both pieces into smaller pieces of equal length that are as long as possible. What would be the length of each smaller piece? 
So in this question, we have two pieces of ribbon, 18 centimeters and 24 centimeters long. Mira wants to cut both of them into smaller pieces, but of equal length. And we are asked to find the length of each smaller piece. So here, because we are cutting the ribbon into smaller pieces, we can make use of HCF. That is, we are going to find the highest common factor of 18 and 24. This will give us the number of pieces of equal length. So, finding the HCF of 18 and 24, we have 6. So, this means that the length of each smaller piece will be 6 centimeters. We now move on to the applications of LCM. Let us look at this question. A cinema runs its movies in two different halls 24 hours per week, that is 24-7. One movie runs for 80 minutes and the second one runs for 120 minutes. Both movies start at 1 p.m. When will the movies begin again at the same time? So one movie runs for 80 minutes, while the second one runs for 120 minutes. So if they are both starting at 1 p.m., when will they begin again at the same time? So here I will have to find the LCM of 80 and 120. So I find the prime factors of 80 and 120, and then I find the LCM. So the LCM here is 240. Remember, we were working in minutes, 80 minutes, 120 minutes. So the 240 will be in minutes. So 240 minutes mean 4 hours. If they were playing together at 1 p.m., so after 4 hours, they will play together again. This means that both movies will start together again at 1 p.m. plus 4 hours, that is 5 p.m. So, let us look at some practice exercises which you can try to do by yourself. So, these are some questions which you should try. You can see that there are questions involving LCM of two numbers, three numbers, and also word problems involving both HCF and LCM. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you have understood the different concepts explained in this lesson. Goodbye.